Oh, Let is me this help you this out. shit? If I see a giant white truck that's kind of similar, I'm gonna scream. No, it's this one. This one's fine. This is where you have to block the tunnel. Oh. This one's fine. This is also a reference to a movie, I'm pretty sure. Biff? That's is the name it? of this fucking car's the Biff? What the fuck? Yeah, Biff Tannen. Yeah, Biff Tannen the truck. Oh, because it gets truck manure. Got it. Alright. I think Before it was loading, huh? As vaguely remembered happening last time. I think there's some fucking chocks around. Now. Never mind. Why do I keep grabbing for things? It just fucking keeps happening. I shine Dwayne. Cheeky cheeky swine there. You know, some became popular for this game on the Russian channel, so they recorded an English version, I'm pretty sure. That's awful. Yeah, I think they had to change the loop. Right. Fuck the pigs. Fuck the stupid fucking pigs. <laughs> I guess not the lyrics. Um, they also got removed from the game. <laughs> well, I can't remember if they re added it. Ah. That's the thing, I can't remember all the things they put back in. Try remove some music and we have the music to do. <laughs> stop talking right now. That was effortless. These are my machines. Mine, 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 mine. I actually can't remember where that's from right now. Oh, Sh Scrubs Season 3, Episode 1. Got it. I don't think you'd remember the episode. <laughs> no, I got it exactly. Because that's the episode where Elliot Reed, aka Sarah Chalk, has a makeover and she looks attractive. Even if she already looked attractive yes. at some point. Yeah, I hate stuff in general that where it's like, man, I need to be made attractive. I'm like, dude, do you know how many times I went over you? <laughs> All right, relax, relax. I think I'm, you're touching I'm, a I'm fucking in, mouse I'm right now. I was getting my pants off with Sarah Chalk <laughs> 20 years ago. They even made a joke in season three later on where Dr. Kelso says, you have way too much makeup on. Oh, and they, yeah. And they like, literally downgrade it for season four. Because it's too much. Oh, you can just go straight. She looks like a slutty whore, but it's cool. I like how she's oh, like... Don't go straight, don't go straight. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I like how she looks like... She, is she like 40 years old now, and she's like more attractive than fucking God? Oh, oh, Max, really. Oh, I haven't seen pictures of her recently. <laughs> she's an Angie Tribeca. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. You just go, fucked. Fuck these cops. That's like the, the quickest way to lose coops. Coops. Cooper. Dale Cooper. Twin Peaks. Sorry. Shut up. <laughs> I'm like anyone who watches that show looking for connections that, that aren't there. And trying to find meaning when there is none. Um, That's the famous Ape Doctor quote. Yeah, I definitely knew that. He was like, humans looking for patterns that aren't there. Okay, please. You go forward. Fuck them. Fuck them in the ass. What's up? <laughs> I'm the train. Choo choo, motherfucker. Get in. <laughs> okay, how am I gonna do this without dying? Oh no, I did not see that train! Can I do this game as realistic? You just got like torn. <laughs> that was very vicious. Actually, though. come on. This is a pretty solid vehicle. That guy would have died. Kind of the dent above your head. <laughs> That was fucking <laughs> vile, that crash. Get the fucking fuck out the way. Now, murder my friend. What? <laughs> murder. Murder. Wait, is it down to the absolute south? I may have pointed you completely wrong. No. Oh my god, is it? You. Oh no, we had to get rid of a truck and then we go back to that area. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a whole thing. This is a long mission. Like I said, third mission, sorry, third island missions suck because they're so fucking long. Oh my god. Are they hard as well? <laughs> Are you trying to make a joke here? <laughs> I don't know. You're supposed to say yeah and they're also filled with semen. Ah, I see. And then... Submarine. That's a salt nose. That was also a salt nose. There's a lot of salt nose around. That's a salt nose. 
Mine's not a salt rock. <laughs> it didn't look completely correct. <laughs> Who needs? Who needs? How many of them? Season 5, episode 20. I'm not doing this anymore. Alright. Yeah, but that doesn't have Sarah Chalk in it much. I was about to say. She's in it. But she's not in it a lot. She's in season... Th- ah! Three. Yeah, but she doesn't take her clothes off as much. It's true. She's in ten sessions, and then there's an episode where they fucking watch Manos, Hands of Fate. They also is, watch Star Wars, don't they? They do, and she hates it. Which is a funny joke. It's also like... I'm pretty sure you're not human. If you're not <laughs> Tell that to my mom, then. I will. I'm like, fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> You walked in that one. You can't, talk to, you can't talk to my mama like that. I talk to her much worse. <laughs> Dude. I don't want you doing do, do dirty talk to my mama. No, it's funny that me and my mama agree on literally everything except Star Wars and Doctor Who. Those are the two things I kind of like the most though. So it's kind of funny. Wait, she hates Doctor Who? She fucking hates Doctor Who. It's pretty funny. She watched it as a kid and John Pertwee's Doctor, like, she liked all that. <laughs> it felt her up, yeah. She was scared of the Green Death episode with the maggots. I was about to say, how old would have she been? She was 1973 was that episode. So she would have been 10, 12, I don't know. Okay. It's still aged my mum. Yeah. Um, she turned it, like 60 this year or something. My mum was like 54 or something. She's probably like a cake. Or a cupcake. <laughs> you could buy her a cupcake. Go for it. Like a Tim Dan or something. Anyway. Put, put a sixty on it. Yeah, what do you get for people with sixty? <laughs> um, wow, you've made it this long. I don't know. Yeah, I'm so sorry you're not dead yet. <laughs> it's a really weird cake. <laughs> it's a death cake. Yeah, Fuck. You, you get it at Coles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Coles sell sixty year old cakes. Yeah, I could have easily done that. Sorry, I was too busy thinking about the fact that there's a cake in Coles that's 60 years old. It was made 60 years ago, and you give it to a 60 year old. Well, they do have one. And it kills them. What's that famous cake slice that they meme about that's like a cake slice that they preserved like 20 years? Like the Seinfeld episode, where she has a 100 year old cake. (laughs) Okay. Can I hit him with the face of the baseball bat? Go on, Packy! Oh, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> My fucking god, just die, please. I want to win this mission. Thank you. Why does Packy leave? That's the stupid part. He's a fucking Irish come back. It's gonna be. No, my, my mum watched Doctor Who clearly because of David Tennant and that was it. So what you're telling me is that she was like a 16 year old girl <laughs> in 2006. <laughs> no. A cake from 1911 perfectly preserved in Antarctica. It's a Seinfeld episode. What? There's a Seinfeld episode where Elaine eats a one. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It's been yeah, it's a to death. Yeah. There's, there's heaps of hundred year old preserved cakes. For no reason. For no raisin. <laughs> raisin, yeah. That's what the cake's made of, raisins. For no reason. Can I find a fucking Tuxie right now? Please? Tuxie? 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 Who needs? Who needs? Who needs? That's a hammer you've ever season five. Okay. Um, what? I haven't heard of that reference before. It's pretty fresh. Robin, you, you're clearly friends with these guys, but you slept with 50% of them. Right. <laughs> so vague. Look, listen, lady. I'm fucking robbing you. I'm Robin Hooding you, don't you? Dare, dude. Ah, oh, you're back door and cape. I need, your, I need your boots, motorcycle, and your cape. That's never nice. the mission. I can't remember the fucking... It's a predator Oh, it's reference. not even the mission! God yeah, damn. it's not a predator reference. Actually, speak... No, Concrete Jungle is a predator reference. Nice. You're one ugly motherfucker. What's that... Uh, what's that uh, joke that that guy says about pussy and it's like way too grotesque for words but it's PG-13 movie? It's not. Um, I don't think it's that bad. Like... Dude, your mom is so good I munched her. Like, it's something like that but it's vile. No. <laughs> 
can't remember what he says. It's so fucking gross. It's more basic bitch than that. It's just funny that all these buff men are talking about fucking crushing puss, but they're all dying. No, it's the, it's the one guy who doesn't. It's Shane Black, who's the skinny dude with glasses. I thought Shane Black directed Predator 4. He did. <laughs> he was, uh, he touched up the script of Predator 1. Oh! I did not know that. This is this is the quote. Okay. Billy, Billy, the other day I was going down with my girlfriend. I said to her, Geez, you got a big pussy. Geez, you got a big pussy. She said, Why did you say that twice? I said, I didn't. Yeah, that's that. By the way, I watched this when I was a small boy in front of my parents. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Billy, hey, Billy, the other day I went up to my girlfriend. I said, You know, I'd like a little pussy. She said, Me too. Mine's as big as a house. See, she wanted a little one because hers was big as a house. That's my favorite part about watching very vile, fucking gross, fucking very realistic sex scenes in front of your parents. <laughs> like, like, isn't the Watchmen, like, is there a very, very slow motion Zack Snyder sex scene in Watchmen? <laughs> Okay. That happened Ooh, in the presence of my enemies. Get in! Oh, I have to read it. I should really pay attention to these fucking missions. I have to get a car. Shit. Oh no, this car's gonna drive away and I don't have a car. Oh, it's just an Enos Cognoscenti. You're a good car. Stop! You did not stop. Ooh, get got... out of here! Bounce. What the bam. fucking fucking fuck? Me. Bam. Bam bam. Ancelotti goons, dude. It's Ancelotti's. Yeah. No, someone in the game actually said Ancelotti. Yeah, it was a joke. Ah. Ah. Ooh, I felt so. <laughs> Can't be surprised about every car. <laughs> a taxi. Wow, a blue car. I'm not easily impressed. That joke has become a meme because you barely see blue cars everywhere. Anyway. Um, not this fucking game. No, I mean in real life. Um, you never see blue cars. I'm pretty sure I've seen like 10 blue cars. Right? That's fine. In your entire life. <laughs> this year. I saw an Audi, the brand new Audi car drive past. It was like an R8. It looked like fucking brand mint new. It probably wasn't. That I was like, that's my favourite well. car ever. What could possibly go wrong? My favourite part about Shang-Chi, the legend of the 20 cock rings, is that they're retconning the awesome part of Shane Black's Iron Man 3 where the Mandarin wasn't a character. You comic book nerds fucking hate that because mm. they're like you just shat on twenty years of Mandarin comic. Which, but I'm more like the whole point is meant to be like avoid the expectations. You know, I mean, it was fun. comic book nerds suck. I like that it was unexpected. I like mm. that he just wasn't the bad guy. I'm like, oh, because as a like human that. being who knows who Ben Kingsley is and has an English accent, you think, oh, he's doing a really good job. Oh, that's the whole point. Uh, even the actor in the movie. Forgot he played that. Indian bloke. Yes. You will never see me coming. I mean, there was a short fucking skit. Because I turn the lights off when I fuck. There's a short skit <laughs> that came out after Iron Man 3 that admits... Um, that has Ben Kingsley in it, saying hmm. that he isn't the Mandarin and someone else is the Mandarin. But... Yeah. It's uh, said in the movie. Yeah, yeah. And, and I almost said Aiden Christensen. What the fuck is the name of the fucking guy from Memento? Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce. He goes, I'm the Mandarin as well. So everyone thinks they're the Mandarin. 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 Is that the Chinese thing? Yeah. yeah that's right. Mandarin. Whatever. Even though the Mandarin is a fucking Iron Man villain, but that's fine. Give it to Chang Chi. I think it's supposed to be both. Maybe it's the Hulk. <laughs> everyone hates him. It gets to a point where everyone's everyone's villain. 
This is a lot of following, by the way. I'm yeah, that's, that's, realize, that's why I'm talking, because it's so following. fucking boring. This is another follow mission. It's a rat. He turns left, and then he goes to that construction site thing over there. Yeah. You blow it all up. To hell. I guess there's no sharp objects near me. Like Mark Wahlberg's Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg, though? I'm sure it Is that the Tim Burton one? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, damn it, old dad, old dad. I never saw it. I, just I fucking must have seen it at least once, because I remember the bits of it, but... Is that like... It came at the same time as Battlefield Earth, so it was like back-to-back worst movies of all time. No, I think it was the year to after Battlefield Earth. Hmm. I thought it was like 96 or something. I'll oh, Google it. It's my favourite movie. You think I'd know it? <laughs> Battlefield Earth is your favourite movie? What? I think it's the year 2000, honestly. It is 2000. I thought it was earlier than that. Yeah. Planet of the Apes, 2001. Yeah, okay. Got that both right. Um, I like how it knew which one I was looking for as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I was so, so I did the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, just, I, I literally called Detonate it. the fucking bomb, Nico. <laughs> did, did they ever do a uh, best of worst of Battlefield Earth? Or is that too obvious? I like the ringtone. Oh, yeah. Beep, 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 Dude, there's a garbage man shooting me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, cops saw you enter. Ha ha! Punished! Punishment! <laughs> Dude. Why? I was already going to jail. <laughs> I'll take as many people out of <laughs> That's fucked up. You didn't hit that man. Oh my god. Oh my god. I like men. I'm just gonna keep driving. Fuck it. No, I'm not. Fuck it. Go on to the train. Oh! Well, that is. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. You want to give me the fucking coal? Really? That's you missed, nothing? You missed the holes. I'm oh, sorry, I was too busy focusing on the fucking there's coal. A hole, there's, there's a hole, hole here. There's a hole there. You didn't get thrown. Ooh. Yeah, that was very lucky. I, I deserved to die. You didn't get thrown. I deserved to die, honestly. Oh yeah, my god, Taxi Island. I made it. Taxi I made it to fucking Valhalla, to Xanadu. I'm going to drink the milk of paradise. It's fucking Kubla Khan. Kubla Khan? Kubla Khan? That's Cooper Clan to kill him out of power. <laughs> Cooper Clan to kill him. <laughs> Sound like gibberish after a while. I need you. You're calling Coleridge <laughs> gibberish. Yeah, that's a bit mean. There we go. I need your fucking dumb cunt and your fucking shit and your asshole. I mean, that's the story, isn't it? Um, not the gibberish part. Um, who wrote Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner? It's a time of the Coleridge. Col- Coleridge? Is he from the 16th century? Am I thinking of the right person? There's a person who was writing a story. He also did Kubla Khan, if that's what you're asking. Okay. He was high on opium. That sounds like Coleridge, yes. Off his fucking nut. And then a fucking Jehovah's Witness or a Col- Coler knocked on his door. He answered it, went back to his fucking writing, and had no idea what he was writing about, and stopped. And that became either Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, or... Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner has an end. Okay, so which one do any of them not have an end? <laughs> I mean, I think it was the right person. This is a real story I read, and it's very interesting. That became unfinished. Because he was interrupted. I mean, Coleridge is from like the 1700s to 1800s. Yes. So I don't know if there would have been Joe's Witness. Well, someone that, I'm sure there's fucking people that out knock on doors for something back then. Did they have doors back then? <laughs> <laughs> when were doors invented? <laughs> yeah, look up that first dude. It was invented by the doors? <laughs> Jim Martian invented doors. Jim Martian? Jim Martian. Um, Kubla Khan, he did on opium, but he always did. Okay. At least I got that right. 
He had a dream and he woke up and wrote it. That's correct. He left it unpublished and took it for private readings for his friends until 16 at the prompting of Lord Byron. Of course, it's fucking Lord Byron. Is there anything about someone? You're telling me vague and unconvincing things. I googled his name and okay, interrupting right, right, right. and OPM. And you did get it. Right. I wonder what that's from. Wow. Easiest mission in the game. Okay, um, I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. I guess it wasn't him. Shit your ass. Oh, you suck a punch. Oh. You're talking about the hit movie? Sucker Punch? Yeah. By Zack Schneider? Yeah. I never saw it. Yeah, he called Excalibur his favourite movie. I don't know what that is. What's Excalibur? It's a good movie. Is it good? <laughs> if you want to see young Patrick Stewart, um, who is still bald. Oh my god. You yeah, also bell on the shit character in this game. Five <laughs> <laughs> <Little line. laughs> Three missions. I mean, my favorite movie is Rise of Skywalker, so whatever. Sorry. Oh, yeah, don't. I don't even know what my favorite movie is anymore. I try. Oh, I have no idea. The only movie I've seen recently would have been. Blade Runner 2049? That was like four years ago, so I don't think that's the best movie I've seen recently. <laughs> <laughs> recently? Yeah, totally. Yeah, recently it's pretty loose. Mine's Godzilla vs. King Kong. No. Oh. I have not seen that. <laughs> it's funny. Mecha Godzilla kills people. Nobody knows this city better than me. Apart from those five other cabins we had earlier. What was his voice like, dude? Yeah. You're nearly a Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> But Spend this is, three. What? what? <laughs> um, I'm not going to say Baby Driver. Fuck that. Obviously. I think I like that movie. Sort of. Yeah, me too. I, I like the music. I'm obsessed with music. In I the like the life. car chase bits. I don't think I like anything else in the movie. Really? You don't like the music? No, I said I like the, I like the music and ah, the okay. car chase bits. But everything else that was a bottom. I didn't actually... You don't like the love story? No, that's I, fucking the most tacked on milk toast limped dick motherfucker there ever was. I'm kind of okay with her performance. I think she's lovely. But him, he's kind of a fucking robot. Am I meant to kill these people, sorry? Yes. Oh, well, technically your objective is to steal that truck. So I'm going to tell you to kill I think my least favourite part about that fucking movie is how they all become like stereotypical villains like John Hamm decides to fucking become a bloodthirsty maniac and try to drive him off a fucking garage yeah that's very weird they all seem pretty cool karma collect throughout the movie and then they go the batshit insane for no reason yeah the whole point is that they're pretty actually are there any of those oh, like signpost things. things where they have like him shooting this in person or anything at the start I can't really remember yeah also, I can't remember if Jamie Foxx was like the super fucking insane one, but he dies super unexpectedly. So. Yeah, yeah, he's the insane one, and that's why yeah, Baby Driver drives into a wall to kill him. But then John Hamm's character, who was kind of normal and nice the whole movie, becomes a fucking insane person. Could you fuck off? He's like, dead. I know he is, but it's just annoying. He's just limping to his death. Uh, you haven't put them yet. Yeah. 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 No. No. No, my favorite movie is Justice League, uh, the four hour cut. Okay, I need to fucking do this. You get me fucking... Oh no, I don't. I have to actually chase them, don't I? Do I have to chase? You're getting your Can I read this? Steal the truck, yeah, I can't get it. You move to its rear to grab on. You've, you've terminated it. I can't do that with fucking people chasing me. That's why you kill them out of your way. Could you fuck off? <laughs> okay. Can I chase after him as a too late? Oh, he's driving really slow. Beep, 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 beep. I better not fail this mission. That'd be so fucking lame. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, Nico's pretty much set. I'm gonna catch him. And you have to button mash to climb it. Is it the air bomb? Because I can do oh, that. I don't know that. He'll tell you I'm too big. My jeans! Ah! Oh my god, hurry up! Whoosh! Okay, this is fine. <laughs> that was 
cool. You guys fuck me. Please don't turn left. You have to hold back to hold on. This is gripping. Whoosh. He just bent his wrist back 360 degrees. It's fucking gross. Also, swinging into that window looked goofy. He just went, <laughs> woo! I've stolen a truck. Where do I have to drive it? <clears throat> Across the whole entire map. Please. And thank you. I haven't even done the kidnapping yet. Yeah, we haven't talked to Gracie yet. There's a lot of fucking people on this fucking gross island. 